What's going on guys, it's Greg from ECD and welcome to the 2018 OCMD gear bag video. I know this one's always highly anticipated, people have been asking for weeks when we're gonna do it and I'm really pumped to release for you guys. Uh, a little bit of info this year, I'm unfortunately not going to Ocean City. I just had a son, he is four weeks old and I have a wedding this weekend so I'm not gonna make it but the rest of the crew will be there. Brian's running the vlog, we'll have highlights, all that stuff will be next week so still as usual for the content schedule for next week but I still wanted to show you uh, all the gear that we have because it is really sick. So first the B, uh, the bag, G1 lacrosse bags, you guys know about this from last year. Only thing I did was updated. Uh, we got those patches from our hats, so it tossed a couple little ECD patches on the outside. Um, so first let's look at previous year's helmets that lead us into this year's helmet. So these are the Team ECD helmets that I have worn. We started out with a carbon fiber print Warrior regulator helmet right when they came out. We are pretty hyped about it. Turned out to be a bad idea because nobody really liked this helmet at all, but it did look kind of cool. Then we moved into a matte gray Cascade R that we wore for two years. Really simple white decals with a little bit of chrome. These were good because they matched a lot of stuff. And then we moved into last year, the matte black Cascade S right when they were releasing them uh, with a really cool printed decal. Always really simple in the decals, white mask. And I did say in that video last year that these would last us a while because they match a lot of stuff. That was a lie because we got new helmets for this year. All right, so for the helmets this year, we have brand new chrome red Cascade S's. This was my favorite bold custom color that they launched. We used their customizer online, put this bad boy together, turned out really sick. So big shout out to Cascade for hooking these up. My favorite helmet in the game and a really amazing color. Uh, Pro Athletics hooked up the decals. We have all chrome red S, um, red, white, and blue decals with the Royal, really cool stripe on the top. Simple crab on the one side, simple number on the other. ECD lacrosse on the back with the American flag, uh, but my favorite part is definitely the jaw piece. So you can see this kind of chrome royal that goes around with some stripes and silver. That really brings the whole look together. Cascade through the ECD on the face mask. We've got the crab right there on the chin strap. And then shock visors hooked us up with their new 3.0 visor, which a couple guys are gonna be wearing. Got just the smoke tinted here, so it's a little shorter, fits a lot nicer in the S helmet. Doesn't touch your nose or anything. Uh, and then he also did this transparent ECD decal with a flag that ties in the whole red, white, and blue theme. This is easily the best team ECD helmet we've ever had. Next up, the uniforms. These are by Pro Athletics as well, just like every year. This year we went with the red, white, and blue theme uh, inspired by the Philadelphia 76ers. So we've got their sublimated short, a couple simple stripes down the side, a uh, little cool crab logo that Brian whipped up that matched the 76ers logo. Pro Athletics there, and then number 28. And we've got a three-piece setup going on. So all white shooting shirt, really simple design, block text, 28 on the back, and Ocean City. And then the reversible pennies that go on top, all blue on one side. And then the other side is the reverse with the white. And they've all got the stripes that run down the side uh, that match the shorts as well. So these shorts are going to be going on sale. Very limited quantities coming up next week, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Next up, we've got the cleats. I was lucky enough to get these from the Under Armour All-America game. I thought they would match perfectly with our theme, red, white, and blue USA. Uh, you already saw these in the Under Armour gear bag, um, but I'm looking forward to breaking them in, getting them ready to roll. Definitely the coolest pair of Under Armour cleats that they've released in a little while with the knit upper, uh, the stars and stripes on the, uh, the UA logo there, and then the chrome rolls gold bottom. So these go pretty perfectly. I thought no better time to break them in and break them out for this. Then elbow pads and gloves. I've got a simple white pair of Under Armour VFTs here. I really like these for the flexibility. Nice size. I've never liked huge elbow pads. So these work really well for me. All white to match the theme. And then this year for the gloves with Maverick, we kept it really, really simple. Uh, we thought the helmet was so flashy and the uniform has some color in it that if we just did all white Maverick M4s, that would be the way to go. So it's really clean. They've got some texture on them to begin with. So. Uh, you know, it does have a little design, but totally white is a great look, matches their uniforms really well. And even from last year when the M4s just came out, everybody loves the protection, fit, quick break in, uh, definitely some of our favorite clothes out there. So we got the all white M4s ready to roll. Then we've got the sticks. Uh, first, we've got Old Faithful that I've been dialing in since the Rebel release with the die job by Rob Rimmer up at Lacrosse Unlimited. Zone Tech Hero 2, custom cut down goalie carbon pro for the grip at the top. Uh, I've really had this uh, dialed in for a while now. It's been my daily user ever since the release. And the pocket, and this one sits up really high as most of my pockets have in the past, which I've always really liked and still got the U going on. Uh, but one thing I've really tried to do is 
work into NCAA legal shooting strings. I've been trying to do that for years now. So I've been really messing around with Deemer Glasses Pocket from the Blaze, and I think it's really been working for me. So I've got a Chrome one here from the guys at Mueller Corp and Smitty uh, over there hooked it up for us. Pat dyed it up with a Royal Blue Fade to Chrome. Um, it's just got some simple gray striker mesh. So this is Deemer Glasses Pocket. It is a little higher, but it does have those lower straight shooting strings for a good bit of whip. So I've been working on getting this one dialed in. I think it's getting pretty close to be able to, to use on the field. And then uh, this is just an all white shaft. We've got some prototypes out there rolling around. As always, can't go to OCMD without testing some products. So that's out there too. Then just a couple other random things I've added in my gear bag from our accessory reviews. Um, we've got a couple of uh, these Hero deodorizers that help dry your cleats out. I literally cannot live without these now. We've also got the Theragun. I'm old now, officially turning 29 today, which means I'm sore all the time. This is a must have, and the rest is just a bunch of stickers and wristbands and stuff I leave in there all the time. But if you see the guys down there, Brian, Mike, the guys have wristbands, stickers, and mesh. So if you see them, say hey, and maybe we'll get some free stuff. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to stay tuned next week for the OCMD vlog and the highlights, and also the drop of the limited OCMD shorts. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.